So now that we have Linux installed, we just have to make some adjustments before we start installing the softwares. In this video, we will enable the student user to execute sudo commands, we'll disable the firewall, we'll install VirtualBox guest editions, and we'll also copy the setup files from the host to the virtual hard drive. This video could be a lot shorter, but it will be a bit longer because instead of just giving you the commands for installing guest editions, I'll show you the thought process behind doing so. If I just gave you the commands, chances are that this particular part of the guide would be essentially useless in any other flavor of Linux or after any update of pretty much any of the software involved. So start your virtual machine by double clicking it. Log in as student and open a terminal so we can add student to the sudoers file. Execute su and enter root password, which is otm63 exclamation point. Then run the vi sudo command. Using the arrow keys to navigate this file, find the line that says all root equals to all all. Right here. Now use the mouse to select this line, then press Ctrl Shift C to copy it. Place the cursor one line below, press I to enable insert mode, then Ctrl Shift V to paste. With the cursor at the very start of this line we just copied, write student. Then press ESC to disable insert mode, and press X four times to delete root. Then press colon W Q to save and quit. We can confirm the changes by running cat etc slash sudoers. Now let's install guest editions. On VirtualBox toolbar, I'm going to enable it here because I'm on scale mode, it's not showing to me. Select Devices, Install Guest Editions. This will mount the guest editions. ISO image in your virtual DVD drive. Click cancel here. Then on the terminal as root, change the directory as I show you here. When you are at the right directory, run the installer by typing dot forward slash freebox linux additions dot run and hit enter. Now in a perfect world uh, that would be enough, but we are not that lucky. As you can see here, uh, building the main guest editions module has failed. But the installer is kind enough to mention that if that particular section of the installation fails, you may be able to fix it by installing a package. But before we do that, let's take a look at the log. Do so by running the cat command preceded by the name of the log. We see now that it failed because the, the installer couldn't find the kernel directory. Let's confirm that we don't have that environment variable set. Yep, yeah, no we don't. I happen to know where this kernel directory is. It's at usr slash 
src slash kernels. But if I didn't, I would search for kern tier on Google. Yes, we can see that that directory is empty. So let's install the package as suggested by Guest Editions installer and see if it fixes the problem. You can see here that I tried to run the yum install, but it failed because I had no internet connection. If you run into this, just enable as I did there. Since this is the first time you use the yum command, it can take a while to execute. So let's take a detour while we wait and let's disable the firewall. On the menu up there, select System Administration, then Firewall. Click Close here. Enter root password, then Disable and Apply, and click Yes to confirm. Then open a terminal. Let's open a new one because this one here is busy. Log in as root and run chq config ip tables off. I forgot the chq config there. So it should be like this. And then run chq config ip6 tables off. And that's about it, very simple. Now going back to the guest edition situation, we have the missing package installed now. It's about to finish. Okay, now let's make the current tier variable uh, point to the kernel directory. It is still empty. Let's fix that. So it should be forward slash USR, forward slash SRC, forward slash kernels, forward slash the name of the kernel. Just copy and paste and we're done. Also delete the log that we that were created before. So in case guest editions installer fails again. 
it's going to be easier to read. And let's try our luck one more time. As we can see, it failed at the same point as before. Let's take a look at the log. Now it says make gcc command not found. And if you Google and research that a little bit, you will come to the conclusion that you need to install gcc. Before we try to install anything, let's confirm that we don't have that already. We can do so by running the yum list command. If you see this yum lock error, kill the process that is locking yum as I do here by running kill dash seek kill and then the process number. Let's do that and try again. We really don't have GCC, so guest editions won't install properly unless we get GCC on our system. As you see, I install that by running yum install command and then the package name. That should take care of the problem we found on the log, so let's delete the log and try and run the guest editions installer once more. This time it worked. On the next video we will make it possible to copy files between host and virtual machine thanks to the guest editions.